front, and you are going to take your legs to 90 degrees in front and 90 degrees in the back. If you can't get there, it's absolutely fine. If this back leg needs to be closer in, we'll work towards getting you further back. But if you can, have that knee in line with hip and staying in the front. When you're ready, we're just going to sit here. Now, we you allow your spine to grow tall out of that pelvis. Easy breathing. And you're going to play around that foot position behind you to wherever is most comfortable for that hip. Take your time. Use your hands behind you. We're going to lift your back knee up and then roll it back down. As your knee lifts and your femur moves in your pelvic half, allow your torso to rotate with it. So we've got full movement here so we don't put any extra pressure. Feel that lengthening of that inner thigh, that dropping of the bone of the leg into that hip socket, down towards the seat bone. Do a few more, just moving towards that transition. When you're ready, see, can we roll it up and over, slow and controlled to the other side, 90-90 here. And again, lift it up. Easy roll. All right, keep using your hands on the floor. If anything, to just slow you down. We're looking for slidey ball of the femur in the hip socket as you move here. Good, nice and relaxed in the breath. Moving through that sequence. Nice. Good. Allowing the ribs to round and come around. Very good. And then we're going to go ahead and do the same on that opposite side. So we're going to sit to 90-90 again here. See, can you find your tall spine? Play around the position of that foot. And then take your time. We're going to just roll and come back. And little roll and take it back and around. Few more. Easy rolling through it. Up and over. And return. Let's do it once more like this. And then let's lift and come around. Lift and come back. Rolling the knees up, over and around, coiling up through those joints, allowing those muscles in the legs, in the lower back, in the front of the hips, the chance just here to slide, to lengthen, to stretch, to work up. And last one. So we're going to come back to that first side. Back to that first side. And again, looking, can you get 90 degrees? If you can't, again, working where you are. Hands to the mat, torso wrapping forwards. We're going to nice and slow pick the back knee up. Only as far as you can without turning the torso. So it won't be high. And lower it down. Send the heels to the floor as your knee lifts. And important, Keep that big toe down on the floor so that it gets right into that glute meat side of the head. Press the ball or the big toe and the heel through the floor. And lift. And again, let's do three more. Easy in that breath, soft in the jawline. Shoulders really chill like your hands are supporting. Release. Now we're going to send the knee through the floor, lift the foot and lower. Lift the foot, get it as high as you can. Internal rotation of the femur and down. Lift the foot, knee rolls forwards and down. Return. Keep really challenging yourself to get higher every time. Feeling that side hip open up, say hello. Good. Once more, knee lift. We're going to hold it. We're going to get a little higher. Keep breathing. You might feel the hamstring kicking in around here as well. And release. And nice and easy. Same leg. Hold. 
side leg. We're going to pick it up. You'll get a little bit of a lateral shift. Unfortunate, that's fine. Play around with your movement here. Lift. As the side of you picks up the leg, in seam of the leg releases. Three more. Two more. One more. Hold it here. Isometric. Lift it up. Foot, hip, knee, and ankle in line. Keep breathing. Now we're going to slide the leg back just an inch and we're going to slide it forwards. Slide it back and slide it forwards. Take your time. Do three and forwards. Push through the heel. One more. And then take it down. Release. Roll around. And let's do the same to that opposite side. Sit in here, find the space. We're going to press the big toe and the heel through the floor. Go ahead and lift the knee only as high as you can by lifting the toe over the heel. And lower back down. Press to pick it up. And lower it back down. Press to pick it up. That's it. Well done. Roll an external rotation, lengthen it. Nice. Two more. Press to pick it up. And back down. Press, press, press. And down. Good. We're going to go into internal rotation. That knee now rolls forward, foot rolls up. And then so we've got a little rotation of the head of the femur in that hip socket. Knee rolls, foot and ankle lift. And reach, release. Easy with the breath. Again, soft in the jaw, soft in the shoulders. All about your hip here. You will get a little bit of side waist as well. Absolutely normal. Trying to get that foot a little higher every time without allowing it to arc your back. Good, stay connected to the hip. Last one, hold it up here. Get it a little higher, a little higher. Keep it up there. Keep breathing and releasing it again. And then when you're ready, go ahead. We're going to pick that whole leg up and lower it down. Picking that whole leg up, side hip, side leg. Foot, hip, knee, and ankle all coming together. And back down. I'm going to do three more. All the way up, 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 up. And back down. Two more. Lifting through that side hip. Nice. Do it one more time. And then we're going to slide the knee forwards. And then drive it back, keeping the leg on that same line. Slide it forwards. And reach it back. Very good. Do three more, keeping that breath really easy. Two more. Good, one more time. Slide it forward. Slide it back, hold it back, and drop. Take your time and come all the way around. We're going to have those feet together, soles of the feet together, wherever those knees get to is absolutely fine. And then just give yourself a sec to lean forwards and release. And again, two more, little lean and release. One more time and release from here. Go ahead and take yourself to line all the way down on the mat. We're going to stay with those hips. So. Standing the feet right down into the floor, you're going to find length the entire way through your spine. You're going to start to rock the pelvis forwards and backwards. Feeding the feet gently press through the floor. And let your arms be heavy if you can. I might just get mine out of the way sometimes. Rock and release. Keeping that slide of the pelvic calves around the bones of your thighs, around those fingers, two more. Head moves with the spine, and then we're going to start to circle the pelvis on the mat. So you're circling your pelvic halves 
around your thigh bone, circling your lower back onto the mat, and then reverse it. If this feels like an easier place for you to start than those sitting 1990 transitions, it's absolutely an option as well. And then take it nice and steady. Feet pressed together, knees together, ankles together. We're going to fall the right leg or the left leg, pick, which doesn't matter which one, out to the side. In, see what that leg releases. And roll the leg in. Same leg again. Four more. Slide the legs. So we're rolling to the baby toe side of the foot. And it should go really nice and smooth. It doesn't matter how far your leg gets. We're see aiming to get it nice and long. But you're avoiding any of that shuddering out of the side. The other leg should feel nice and static. You're just allowing the weight of the thigh bone to roll the leg out. On your next one, we're going to roll it out your paw. We're going to slide the baby toe side of the foot along the mat, turn back to parallel and up. Kneecap turn out, slide the leg. Kneecap to ceiling, slide the leg home. So we externally rotate to slide, neutral to return two more. Externally rotate to slide, back and in one more. And your lower back stays nice and chill the whole time. Good, let's take that opposite leg. You're going to fall out, bend knee forward, and back. And that leg falls out to the side. And come back in. We're going to do three more on that leg. In, see with the leg releasing. Hip flexor letting it happen. On this next one, that leg slides, falls out. Slide it along the mat, back to center, draw it home. Add to the side, reach it away, back to center, draw it home. We're going to go three more. Slide again, lower back nice and neutral. Two, slide, center, and home. Last one. And then when you're ready, both knees, feet, ankles pressing together. We're going to open. I both legs together. Feel that simultaneous length through both inner thighs. Roll them all the way back in. We're going to do two more. Roll them apart. And back in nice and soft. One more. Open them out. Nice. Hold it here. Take the soles of your feet and press them together, especially your heels. Pull those feet nice and tight to your backside. Squeeze the feet together. Lift your pelvis to the ceiling, not a high little tuck in the chair. And then let it release to the floor. Again, press the feet together, tuck the tail to lift, open through the inseams of the legs. And then nice and gentle seat bones widen as you come down. Three more, press the feet together. Really slow and controlled here, releasing through the low back seat bones wide. Two more, press the feet together, lift and tuck the tail. Slowly we come back down, soften the jaw. Once more, press the feet together, lift and open them, stay here. Keep pressing the feet, keep tucking the tail, pulling the hip bones to your ribs. Feeling your ribs sliding down into that abdominal wall. Stay for four, for three, for two, for one. One and let the whole body. The thigh bone lengthens to lift the pelvis up, the mat, the chest bone melts down as the tailbone lifts up. Slowly return to the mat. Slide the legs away from you without disturbing that lower back. Slide the legs back in. Stand the feet through the floor. Open, drop the chest bone, tuck the tail, drop the ribs, and melting down. Accepting whatever you're feeling in those hamstrings. Slide it in. Press the feet through the floor. Nod your knees over your toes. Reach. Really press through the floor. Create that isometric. Drop the body down. Back widen. Seat bones widen. Slide the legs away. 
Slide the legs back in. Last two. Reach in the knees. Drop the chest. We'll press the floor away. And keep pressing the floor away. And slowly we return. White seat bones. Body melting. Slide. And come in. Last one. Stand the feet through the floor. Lift. Good. Now take it down half an inch of your pelvis. Tuck your tail a little bit more. Reach the knees forwards. And forwards. And as you slide your knees forward, it's going to nod your chin, your throat, and release. Three. Keep breathing. Knees over those toes. Keep lifting the tail. And stay. Tuck the tail. Stay here. And create more pressure. Feet through the floor. Activate through the backs of the legs. Forget about sipping up for a sec, but just think about tucking the tail a little bit more. Hips to ribs, ribs to hips. Breathe. Keep pressing the feet through the floor. More weight into your heels than into your toes. Get those hamstrings to really switch on. Find the crap. Find the work. You're breathing. You're going to be here for another 30 seconds or so. Keep pressing the feet through the floor. Keep connecting front body to back body to side body. Well done. Keep breathing. Soften the jaw. Let your shoulders go. Let your arms be as wide as you like. And heavy. Press through the feet. If you're feeling one leg more than the other, just press into your other leg. Keep in your heels. Well done. 15 more seconds. Soften the jaw. Breathing. Staying with it. Press through the feet for three, two, one, and release. Go ahead, pull the knees, and let the low back stretch. Easy breath. And release. One more. Send one foot to the floor. Hold on to that opposite knee. And just stir that thigh bone in the hip socket. And reverse. And then set that foot to the floor. Opposite leg in. And circle. And reverse. Three, two, one. And then release. Take yourself all the way up. And that is it. This hip sequence is all finished. You can do this once or twice through. Take your time with it. See how you get on. Easy breathing. Soften the jaw. Dropping the chest bone as you mobilize through the hips and strengthen around those muscles.